guys, thanks for tuning in today's drive-by. It's uh, uh, 90 degrees, and I am on um, Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard, 82. It's just a circle with an 82. I don't know if it's a route or it's a route or whatever the hell it is, but it's 82. And uh, I'm in Fort Myers, Florida, and um, I hope everybody's doing great. It's uh, October 8th, 2015 right now. And uh, it's about 4.49 in the evening, in the afternoon, and today is Thursday. But um, I wanted to bring up a few subjects, and uh, today's subject is, um, what's more accurate? Um, full size 1911 or the commander size 1911? And I know they make a lot of 1911s. I've never owned a full size 5 inch 1911. Uh, I may soon be the proud owner of a full-size 1911 but I don't know uh, the thing is it's kind of neat um, with the uh, 1911s uh, they make so many different styles and I know if you get into a 1911 and you get into a um, a um, 1911 that's uh, small Sometimes they suffer from accuracy issues and feeding issues. If you get into the bigger barrels, or the bigger uh, 1911s, uh, they have a little bit more weight and they're a little bit more controllable, people tell me. But I think a lot of it has to do with the um, shooter, their muscle memory, how good they can uh, hold on to the gun and maintain it and shoot it and stuff like that. But, um, you know, that has a lot to do with it. But uh, as far as, uh, uh, you know, accuracy, I always have found out that uh, compensation or ported barrels always help a lot of guns. If you have a ported barrel, it's going to help your accuracy quite a bit, uh, usually because it uh, helps with the muzzle flip and uh, that a little bit of controllability. And the more you can control your gun, uh, more accurate and the more you'll be able to handle it uh, has a lot to do with it. Uh, just like um, I have a Nighthawk Custom and uh, I have a ported barrel in it and shooting that is a dream. It's very accurate. It's not too heavy. It's not bulky. It's a nice gun. Uh, I never could compare it to a 5 inch because I haven't owned a full size. But I soon might be getting a full size and once I get a full size I'll be for sure to do a review and check it out and see how it works. But uh, I'd like to have your advice, uh, your opinions, on what do you think uh, is more accurate? Uh, the commander size, 4.25 inch barrel, or they might make a little smaller one, or the 5 inch barrels, or even maybe um, a 5 inch barrel with a threaded barrel, which will probably give you an extra half inch length or something like that. I'd like to know. Uh, I know you're going to get a little bit more weight. But as far as accuracy, um, I don't know. A lot of, I know a lot of things in a, in, a, in a gun go into accuracy. You know, how it's designed, the uh, tolerances, the quality of the uh, machining, and the shooter and the ammunition. A lot of that depends on it. But I'd like to know in a 1911, uh, what do you think is uh, more accurate? size-wise, the full-size professional ones or the uh, certain commander ones or what. It's just for me, I'm not a 1911 expert or guru. Uh, I've had enough of the higher end ones to understand you know, their quality issues. I haven't really owned a lot of lower end ones to know uh, their quality issues. But thanks a lot for tuning in. I uh, appreciate uh, if you subscribe, it would be great. I'd appreciate it. And also, guys, don't forget to um, uh, email me. You can PM me, uh, and I'll give you my email address, uh, your pictures of your your favorite guns, guns that you own. Take a picture, uh, you know, put some information on it. I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, I will uh, announce the giveaway soon. I'm just trying to think what I'm going to give away. Uh, and I don't know how many items. But thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. And uh, thanks for tuning in from sunny, uh, humid, warm, 90-degree Florida.